is Jane? She is in the living room. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the dog? The dog is eaten. Where are you? I am in the kitchen. What are you doing? I am cooking for dinner. Where are Bill and Mary? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are watching TV. Where is the cat? She is in the dining room. What is she doing? She is sleeping. My favorite photographs. Who is she? She is my sister. What's her name? Her name is Jennifer. Where is she in this photograph? She's in Toronto. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the CN Tower. Location. Where is the school? It's between the library and the park. Where is the post office? It's across from the movie theater. Where is the Royal Bank? It's next to the supermarket. Where is the gas station? It's around the corner from the church. Where is the barber shop? It's near the bus station. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the nearest bank? Yes, it's on Geneva Street. As a matter of fact, I am going that way myself. So if you come with me, I will show you. Thanks very much. You are welcome. Color. May I help you? Yes, please. I am looking for an umbrella. What's your favorite color? It's black. Sorry, we have no black umbrellas right now. Here is a nice umbrella. But this umbrella is yellow. That's okay. Yellow umbrellas are very popular this year. Excuse me, is this your umbrella? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. That umbrella is brown, and my umbrella is yellow. Yes, no questions. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Tell me about your new car. Is it large? No, it's not. It's small. Tell me about the questions in your English book. Are they difficult? No, they're not. They are easy. Tell me about your new neighbors. Are they quiet? No, they aren't. They are noisy. Short answer. Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is, he is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. <laughs> Hello, Jack. This is Dave. I want to return the book I borrowed from you last night. Will you be home about six o'clock? Yes, I will. 
I'll be cooking dinner. Oh, well, then I won't come over at two. Why not? I don't want to disturb you. Don't worry, you won't disturb me. Okay, I will see you at six. <laughs> My daughter is going to college. That's great, but it must be expensive. Yes, but she has a grant. A grant? What's a grant? The government is giving her money. To pay for her education? That's right. Does it pay for everything? No, she has a loan too. What's the difference between a grant and a loan? You have to pay back a loan. A grant is a gift. I'm busy on Friday. Would you like to go to a pop concert? Well, I'd like to, but when is it? On Friday evening. What a pity. I'm busy on Friday. Maybe you could change your plans. It's going to be a really great concert. Maybe I will. I wouldn't want to miss it. Great. I'll see you Friday. Bless you. Achoo! God bless you. Thank you. Do you have a cold? Yes, that's why I'm sneezing so much. I hope you feel better. I get a bad cold every winter. Are you taking anything for your cold? I'm taking Contact. Does it help? Yes, but it makes me sleepy. You better not drive then. I don't feel well. Hmm. What are you looking for? My jacket. I'm going to the doctor. Why? What's the problem? I'm not sure, but I don't feel well. Do you have a fever? No, but I have a pain in my chest. What time is your appointment? 11.30. I'm going now. Bye. Goodbye. I hope it's nothing serious. Thanks. See you. Can you help me? Can you help me, officer? I'll try it. What's the problem? I can't get into my car. Where are your keys? They're in the car. Don't worry. I can open it. How can you do that? With a coat hanger. It's easy. Where can we get a coat hanger? There's one in the police car. Wait here. Thanks a lot. You're very kind. Taking a cab. Hello. Hello. Where do you want to go? 70 Maple Street, please. 70 Maple Street? No, Maple Street. Maple Street. Let's see, is that near St. David Street? I don't know. I've been here for only one week. Oh, where are you from? Toronto. I hate to get up. I hate to get up in the morning. Me too. What time do you get up? It's six o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I have to be at work by 7. I don't get up until 8. You're lucky. What do you do? I own a bookstore. What time does your store open? 8.30. A hot day. This heat is killing me. Me too. It must be 95 degrees. I would like a cold drink. 
I'll get you one. Thanks. Mm, this tastes good. Mm, it does. Please. This hot weather makes me lazy. Me too. Get me another drink. I guess if you are lazy, no one else is allowed to be. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Getting a visa. Does it take long to get a visa? It depends on the season. Anywhere from one month to two months. What do I need to do? Fill out an application form and wait. Will there be a long waiting period? No, if you don't run into any government delays. Employing a new member. Well, this woman may be suitable for the job, but is she energetic enough? Yes, she certainly seems to have lots of energy. She's got to be ambitious too, is she? Yes, she has plenty of ambition. And we really need a flexible sort of person. Do you think she is? She seems to be determined enough, but she's a little tough. Well, I guess we will give her a try and see how she works out. A date. What are you so happy about? You're grinning from ear to ear. Sandy and I are going out this weekend. Oh yeah? That's fast work. That's great. Which night are you going to see her? Friday or Saturday? On Friday. She isn't going to be in town on Saturday and Sunday. She's going to visit a friend in Quebec. What are you going to do on Friday? I don't know yet. Do you have any ideas? How about taking her to a Chinese restaurant? I've heard that she likes Chinese food. That's a great idea. What are you going to wear on your date? I'm going to wear my new suit. It's nice too formal. Wear your jeans and a t-shirt. How about your sports jacket? Are you going to wear it on Friday night? No, I'm not. Go ahead and wear it. Hello? Sandy, is that you? Yes, uh-huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Gil? Gil who? What do you mean, Gil who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil, I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for an hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but uh, I uh, couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. What did you do yesterday? Hi, how are you? You look tired. Did you sleep okay last night? No, I didn't. Why? What did you do yesterday? I went to a nightclub last night and danced all night. Oh yeah? Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time, but I beat it today. What time did you leave the nightclub? I left about 3 a.m. I'm not surprised that you were tired. Which nightclub did you go to? Fantastic. It's on Ontario Street. It's really nice. Traveling by air. Do I check in here for Air Canada to Mexico? Do you already have your ticket? Yes, here you are. Thank you. Can you put your luggage up here, please? Sure, I have three suitcases. 
we only allow two people. You'll have to pay an extra charge. Oh, I can carry this one with me? No, I'm sorry. It won't fit under your seat. That's $45. Here you are. Thank you. You can choose your seat. A window seat or aisle seat. I'd like a window seat, please. Fine. Seat 15A. Here are your tickets and your boarding pass. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> Good morning. Can I see your passport? Certainly, here it is. Yes, that's all right. Have you got anything to declare? Yes, I have. I've got some whiskey and some cigarettes. How much whiskey have you got? A liter. That's all right. And how many cigarettes have you got? Two hundred. Fine. What about perfume? Uh, no, I haven't. Good. Open your case, please. Pardon? Open your case, please. Open it now. Oh, dear. Look at this. You've got three bottles of whiskey, 400 cigarettes, and a lot of perfume. Does that mean I can't go? <laughs> Mr. Wallace, you seem unusually happy today. I just became a father. Congratulations, a boy or a girl? You never saw such a cute girl. Nine pounds, three ounces, and as cute as a button. Doesn't this call for cigars? Oh, yes, I forgot about the cigars. Here, have one. Thank you. How's your wife? She's just fine. Is English difficult? Where are you going? To Canada. Why are you going there? I'm going to learn English. There's a school there that has an excellent program. Is learning English going to be difficult? Yes. I have to study and practice a lot. Where is your school? It's in a town called St. Catharines in Ontario. I'm jealous. I'll bet you're excited. Yes, but I'm also really nervous. 